Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here, getting ready to maybe get some sleep, but got a few thoughts I want to throw at, at you. You know, I'm appalled when I think about all of these years that America has been here, in this place, bold, daring, bragging on this constitution and its laws and everything that it was about and is about. And then... I don't know whether she anticipated this or not, but on the scene, out of the nowhere, it, seen, it appears a uh, person with no morals popped up on the scene. And for some reason, unbeknown to rational understanding, became president of the United States. And all those in certain groups that denounced and became his running buddy. And all of whatever the Constitution supposed to have represented, this man and Barr seemed to have strangled hold it. And it seems as if the nation is act, acting as if it got one recourse, and that's to beat this man in the presidential election of 2020. 2020. And think about this man, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to really give these things some real, real serious thought about what you're doing. You see how evil this guy is. And if you are not a Republican, you know this guy is evil. And many of the Republicans know it as well. But if you're a Democrat, I want uh, the Democrats who just assume that everybody else who don't like Trump will come and vote for them, which makes it stupid, if you ask me. Because I think about Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, people can be so brainwashed, especially people of color, black people. I think about what Bill Clinton did during his term. I think about the jobs that were left here, and not that they were really paying anybody any big bucks, but it was a job. And they got sent overseas. I think about all the money that was made when they started flooding the communities with drugs and, and uh I started thinking about how they decided to pretend like they were against that by calling for thousands of more cops on the street and um, building more prisons. And when you look at it, you see they put drugs in the black community, uh, put more cops out there to bust black people for having drugs, suddenly trying to make a book, uh, getting all kinds of time for having a seat in the car. You just think about how they worked that thing and then put them all in prison, millions of them in prison. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we see, we see, we just see now how bad we've been done, how far we've been uh, taken away from our joys and from our pains. And now that this is exposed, I want somebody to think, you think that you can go back and start talking about uh, making a law that banned police chokeholds? You think, what the hell does that mean? Uh, don't play us that damn cheap. We know this is a system. This is a system. Talking about banning a chokehold is like trying to say affirmative action. Put a little pain over here, start a little gain over here. You did nothing but started another reason for hatred and bigotry. Ladies and gentlemen, don't play this game. I'm trying to tell you Republicans and Democrats don't mean nothing when it comes down to you. There's a game being played and they're all being used to mess over all of you. Now, some of you are hurting better than others. But every last one of you is not having your dreams come true. My job is to tell you that your dreams can come true and the reason that they're not is because you are being misled and you're following that. But there's one that said they made you. That power made you. You can't see it, can't touch it, can't feel it. But that is the one that you should give your authority to, give your allegiance to. That is the one you should honor, the one that built you, the one that made sure that all the resources on this earth would be here available to you so that every last one of you who require the same things to survive can work together and abstract from these resources everything that you can imagine that you want. And by so doing that as a family, everything that is created by the hands of man belongs to all of you. And can't no snake, can't no devil coming to you to start talking about some money. Can't no start talking about some stock market. Can't no devil coming to you and make you look poor while they ride high on Peel Hill. No, my friends, not in this new system of doing things. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a damn new system. I'm not talking about some junk that has kept us 400 years, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not just talking about 
blacks and people of color. I'm talking about all over the globe. For the past 400 years, somebody's been going through pain and suffering. And somebody's been riding the stages of, Lord, all the luxury that they can uh, steal. And now they want you to think about it. Well, when you reclaim what God has given you, we're not trying to make them pay. We're not trying to put them in jail for using and abusing us because we were stupid and as ignorant as they were. We allow them to do it. But what we're going to do is we're going to teach them some. We're going to teach them how to treat people. We're going to treat them the way we want to be treated. And if they can't like that, then we're going to put it in God's hand. We're going to let God deal with them, but we're going to treat them right. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know the only thing you can do if you don't want to vote for this uh, doomsday, if you don't want to vote for hell, is when you go to the polls to vote, you vote for that best way, the way we've just talked about. Talk about all, the way that you can see best, the way you see God. But it's definitely, it's definitely not this evil that they put out there before us. So what you do, you write your name in. Write your name in as a statement to the nation and to the world that you recognize the job and you're not playing that game anymore. This is time for a new system and you have signed up to bring your power to that new system. I want to thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen, for giving me this your time. Once again, this is Eddie Marcus saying good night. <laughs>